Hey guys, we're gonna do a video on runes and these are of course in the skills window in runes and for most free players um, let's say uh, you will have you will start with the brutality that's something everybody has but uh, then you have these two that you can get and uh, the others usually you don't get them or not yet uh, or not so fast but also these two so let's uh, first of all go with uh, brutality brutality is something you need to bring it up to the max and probably is going to be the first uh, one that you max it out it's very cheap compared to other runes to to level up and uh, you see here at max level 10 it's giving plus 15 percent uh, damage so when you're fighting in in uh, in pve for example that's player versus environment then uh, you 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 still benefit from that 15 percent uh, of course you don't benefit from the 2000 damage to players but a percentage is still good of course fighting against the players that's really good and um, especially in the beginning you will probably use a lot of that so that's let's say a basic one then what you got is you got the blood rune uh, and you got the healing rune currently I have it at level 9 they are when when you get them um, and you get them uh, let, let's uh, let's start uh, let's do that r right now uh, you get these two runes uh, from the tanks event now there are players who've been playing like six months or more and still haven't gotten them and you'll get something like I have here in my vault got it today actually like this one blood rune stone and um, and then you can you can open it up and uh, I actually got the same on my mage account so either it's it's uh, luckily skewed towards blood rune uh, or maybe the healing rune has a lower chance of falling but uh, but regardless both of them have a pretty low chance of falling so do your tanks every day and hope for some luck now once you get these two then of course you will notice straight away that they are much much more difficult to level up than, than the uh, brutality rune now uh, you can see I have the, the blood rune at level 9 it's it's very very powerful it gives um, bleeding effect on the enemy player 6% uh, of health lasts for 8 turns maximum of 8000 damage now if you think about it 8000 that's during normal time of course it's increased by 50% during the 50% range and if you go into the 100% range especially for mage players in class wars they go to 100 and beyond sometimes um, that definitely definitely helps now I will level this up uh, right now um, because I, I realized that in my bag I have 2,105 uh, rune stones so that's just enough and I mean it it's just enough to level it up you see here a hundred uh, 2,105 runes and it'll give uh, experience of a hundred and five thousand of course I don't want to do um, I don't want to do all the hundred and um, five thousand now um, it's always also a good idea not to overdo it um, I always like to keep runes in my bag in case I'll need something else for whatever reason in any case you might also notice here I have 22 out of 95,400 uh, that's impossible to get anymore uh, for people who have recent Wartune accounts uh, you can't you can't physically make this uh, this is coming from the older Wartune where we had different types of runes and we had to feed runes into runes some of the older players may remember it nowadays it'll be impossible for you to do 22 experience so anyways uh, from these runes I'm gonna select a thousand nine hundred and eight which is exactly the amount that I need to get ninety five thousand four hundred experience and I'm gonna level this up consume and now my blood rune is also maxed out and maxed out uh, is it's increasing to 8% so on the previous level uh, it was also doing 8000 damage also for 8 turns but here it's increasing uh, to 8% out of 6% that's actually a big difference because during the normal time if you fight uh, players with a little bit lower health you don't uh, you don't reach this 8000 damage so now with 2% 2, 2 extra uh, taken from the health there's a higher chance of reaching the maximum damage during the normal time now I selected these two 
but um, and I and I truly believe that you really have to select because you can only have two at the same time um, you really have to select the two that you're going to increase that's my belief that's what I also suggest you because the rune stones are limited you know at the end of the day if you play for years you'll have everything maxed out but in the beginning um, pick brutality and pick one of these two to level up don't try to do both because it's extremely extremely expensive uh, I managed to get this maxed out and this one over months of playing so um, so yeah pick pick one of the two and then your your strategy will be different of course with the healing rune and with the blood rune uh, healing rune actually gives you more freedom in strategy because you can heal any time but you cannot cast a blood rune at any time I feel the blood rune is more powerful but it's more limited because you need to kill off the troops uh, in order to place the blood rune on the player um, whereas with the healing rune like I said you can heal at any time at all and um, some players do cast the, bl the blood rune uh, even before the troops are, are, are dead because you still have 33% chance of hitting the player or if one of the one of the troops is dead then you have 50% chance of hitting the player I don't like this kind of lucky shots uh, sometimes I know you have to do it but um, one of your jobs is to reduce the the negatives and increase the pot the chances of positives so in order to reduce that you need to you need to kill off the troops before placing the blood rune because blood rune going on on a, on a templar or, or warlock whatever it's a huge waste whereas the healing rune now you can cast it at any time because you ca cast it on yourself so there it has greater freedom but you only heal yourself uh, some amount whereas the the bleeding uh, is is really really powerful you, you if you have encountered it you will know what I mean it's 8,000 during normal damage it's 12,000 during 50% and it, it's a huge amount of additional damage to your enemy and the faster you kill your enemy the less you need to heal or, or defend yourself so that's that's with the logic so blood rune is much more aggressive that way also for for uh, fighting bosses like <clears throat> in in uh, multiplayer dungeons for example putting blood rune on on, um, uh, on bosses helps in tower of kings it helps so that has definite advantages now the healing rune like I said more flexible um, and and uh, that it's it's straightforward you will notice that I actually have my standard is healing and brutality on because for most of the game uh, you don't need blood rune. Blood rune you need for hardcore player uh, player killing, and that doesn't happen that often. So I usually have healing, if, uh, and I have my healing just up to level five, and now I'm gonna start increasing the healing um, because healing is very useful when you do spire with your friends, when you do multiplayer, like especially if you're a knight. Uh, if you do multiplayer dungeons uh, in your standing in front healing is definitely a, a good rune to have now uh, those two I explained you can get them from the tanks events with uh, or if you're lucky very fast if you're not lucky very slow but you can get them now the other runes are normally casher only runes but what you can do is uh, if you don't want to spend balance um, or you can't actually right now you can't just buy them directly uh, so depending if, if there's some event going on or not what you can do is you can open the map and walk over to the market uh, if you're a heavy casher you can keep on refreshing the market uh, and get it get them faster but what you can do is if you enter the market it'll be hilarious if there is a rune pack right now probably not the chances of it happening is, is I don't know why it's loading I'll just pause okay the game got stuck or something so I reload it so what you can do is um, develop a habit of periodically going to the market the market from the moment that you come to it takes about four hours to refresh so you can develop this habit for no reason whatever just just pop by the market once in a while now when you open the, the market uh, here you have whatever choices and um, this price is ridiculous by the way anyways um, very often it's it's really high bell in price but you see here available rare items you have gems and you have these ancient rune packs you got a mage rune pack you got purge rune guardian rune uh, one of of course one of them one of the two 
uh, exclusive for a mage, exclusive for archer, whatever. Um, it doesn't really matter. You, of course, you need to pick one um, that you can use. Uh, and and in the especially in the ancient rune pack is where you have the chaos rune stone and amnesia and rage rune stone. Now those are of course rather interesting runes to have, extremely expensive to level up. So just getting it is not going to make you very happy. But yeah, you can develop this habit of of coming over to the market and and having a chance of of one of these rune packs to to appear. Now you see here, congratulations to these different players. Like why Judas is in our guild, for example, Icarus is in our guild. They bought the wild. Uh, now Icarus bought the wildfire steed card here. Also, you can get it. Um, why Judas got the archer rune pack, so we can have a look at him. Of course, he's an archer, um, very strong as well for his level. Now he got the archer rune pack with chance of getting purification or guardian rune. Um, so that's how you can get those other runes but again for those who are not spending too much cash or balance probably plan like me not having it Sim simple as that um, I, I even if it even if it shows up in the market I'll think twice before I get it because there's only so many locked balance that I can I can uh, get and actually at this moment I'd prefer to spend them on sylphs or something like that um, so yeah that's I think all I wanted to say about runes to uh, to give you guys some help and advice both for newer players as well as for uh, more experienced players so uh, that's it you guys thanks for watching and have a very nice day